Hi, we've got uh, Adam Koshiel with us and uh, he's our club legend of the week. Um, tell us a little bit about the uh, Adam Koshiel story. Whereabouts did you start playing your football as a junior? Uh, well, sort of didn't really play much footy as a junior. A couple of uh, games back when I was about 10 or 11 years old up in the country at a little uh, <laughs> town called Paponda, which uh, no one would even know. Where is it? Uh, that's to? between Bow Hill and Karunda. Okay. Uh, yeah, so right out in the Mallee there. Yeah. Um, yeah, from that point in time I played tennis um, until I, a bit of a hothead, until I built up enough code violations to get myself suspended for 12 months. Um, I was in year 12 at footy, uh, year 12 at school, and uh, I ended up playing uh, year 12 knockout. And uh, from there, with, with Joel Cochran, uh, who I play with now at the gullies. Yeah. Um, and from that point in time, the third game in when we got knocked out, we played Merrittville. Gary McIntosh and David Odie were out there and they came and spoke to me after the game and asked if I'd like to come out and train at Norwood, which I did. And so you've gone from tennis to football? Correct, correct. And how did you how did you take to that? In, so you went to Norwood? Yeah, I went to Norwood, trained there and played... Um, Under-19s? Uh, no, two games in the reserves that year. The Under-19s were in the grand final, so Mitch Sandry, um, Adam yeah. Williams, Luke Williams, I believe, can't remember if Luke was in there or not, but a lot of the guys from the club that we play now um, were in that under-19s. So I came in late to the season, so yeah. I ended up playing the reserves and um, played a couple of games there and then had the whole pre-season the next year and ended up uh, when Dale Lewis came in. And then the year after that, I was lucky enough to get drafted to... So you were in the league side, you went from reserves to league footy? Uh, in that second year, I did not play league footy, but the year after I did. Yeah, so under Dale Lewis, I didn't play league footy, but I did under Trevor Hill. Well, wow, that's, a, that's a huge rise, isn't it, from tennis to... It all happened pretty quickly, because I went from tennis, then I went to play, uh, playing reserves, um, SNFL, then played SNFL, then was lucky enough to get drafted. Very lucky to get a, a couple of AFL games, and then came back down the list again, and here I am at amateur footy. So you had two years on the power list? Yep, so two years on the power list, drafted in the end of 2006 in the pre-season draft, so... I was 20 years old when I got drafted, so a bit, a bit of an older draftee. And your first AFL game? Uh, round 1, 2007, uh, Port Adelaide versus Fremantle at Subiaco. Okay, that huge. Yeah. And who did you ruck against, Aaron Sanderland? No, I didn't ruck, I was a forward in that stage. I, um, I remember it quite well, because the siren went, I was standing next to Anthony Grover, and he gave me one heck of a rip um, in the guts as soon as the siren went and said, welcome to AFL, mate. And I dropped like a sack of potatoes. Is that right? <laughs> Got me good. Okay. Uh, so. And your, your other game? Um, was the next week um, against uh, North, Mel uh, North Melbourne at Army Stadium. I broke my ankle. Gee, so the broken ankle more or less curtailed? Oh, or... not really. I was, I was between Treaders' second knee and third knee operation. And, um, and the, at, later that year, Westhoff um, had his breakout season. And yeah. I was sort of a bit of a stopgap because my physical size. Yeah. So, yeah, quite lucky. And then after the after the power, where did you end up? After power, I um, transferred from Norwood to South Adelaide. Um, played there for three years. I actually mm -hmm. retired um, at the end of that those three years. Yep. Um, you know, I just had a, had my son and, and was just sort of taking a bit of a uh, giving footy a bit of a back seat um, when uh, Neil Havis from the Magpies came knocking and said, uh, "Would you like to come out and?" Because I was living at Port Adelaide at the time, just up the road. Yep. And he said, would you like to come out and, and uh, have a go or, or go again? I said, all right, no worries. And I played another two years there until they sort of amalgamated into the, the power reserves. And yep. Then a 27-year-old was not much, uh, uh, not required anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so then um, how did you end up to gullies? Mitch Andrew, I suppose, because you, yeah, you had yeah. that from the, the Norwood days. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually played with Mitch at both Norwood and South. So he yep. played down South, won a Nucky Cup down South, Mitch did. And um, that was my first year there when he won that. Um, and then, well, that's yeah. the best and first, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, the best and first. So he won that that year. Um, and then, yeah, he just had a, had a couple of beers with him and he said, do you want to come out and play footy? And he goes, can't offer you much, but um, I'd love to have you on the team. And went out there and met the boys and three years later I'm still there. Yeah, and I can't so. see you leaving any time soon. Oh, it's not, not in the plan. Yeah, so. uh, that's, a, that's a great story. Um, yeah. you, don't, you don't often hear people starting at such a late, late bloom and um, going on to play AFL footy. And oh, right place at the right time in the, the early part of my career, I think. So, 
Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Um, any sponsors you want to give a shout out to at uh, Gullies? Yeah, obviously, uh, major sponsors with uh, Australian Outdoor Living. Um, my personal sponsor, the guys I work for, Computer Site Solutions, well, mm -hmm. CSS now, so. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, look, I just want to give a very special shout out to all the volunteers that um, help not only at our club but all around the league. I think they do a fantastic job and they are not uh, given the, the time of day that they deserve. So this, uh, especially this, this league would not get off the ground without them and I'd like to thank uh, all the volunteers, especially from our club and, um, and all around the league. Yeah, they're wonderful, aren't they? Those fantastic. ladies fantastic. and uh, guys who help with the barbecue and the canteen. Yep. And Manning the bar each Saturday and um, of course manning the bar. Yeah, that's always good. Thank you very much, Adam. Not good luck problem. this week. Thank you very much.